Hey everybody, my name is Elizabeth Atkins and I run a studio called L Creative in the West Central Florida area. First and foremost, I consider myself an artist, totally creative person. I design a lot of stuff for a lot of people and I just so happen to have the privilege of photographing people in love. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about Google Plus and the marketing tools associated with that platform. I can already picture some of you going and the other part of you going, you mean there's another social platform I have to be aware of? Yeah, I know, but I'll actually show you how to make it really easy for you so it's not all crazy. And I'm not really reinventing the wheel, so and everything I'm going to tell you is not a secret. Don't even worry about it. I'm just going to make it real easy. Let's take a look at what Google looks like uh, after you sign up. Now, here's what it looks like when I search for myself under the Google Plus profile and I'm logged in. Um, you can see that I have shared a couple of elements of my website with my circles here. And you can see that the top black bar is all black integrated with Google. Now let's take a look at my profile. Now you can see um, photos about uh, profile, plus ones, all of that good stuff. Now let's talk about the Sparks feature and how you can keep up with local photographers in your area using SEO search terms. Really, I use this um, functioning tool to keep an eye on my competition in my area and to also keep abreast of what's important as far as what's trendy right now. You can see that I've used a couple of search terms here, um, wedding photographer and um, Tampa Bay wedding photography. But the really cool thing about these features is that they're all dated. So every blog post, every Twitter thing, it's all right there for you. It's kind of just really neat and very much of a timeline, very informative. Okay, now that we've talked about Sparks, let me show you photographers out there a couple of pitfalls and good things about the photos feature. Here are all my photos that I've posted to my stream. Um, several different versions of privacy going on with this as well. Um, for example, most of these end up being public. However, if I scroll down here, you can take a look, that's cataloged, everything cataloged. Um, there are a couple of photos that are shared only with certain people. For example, um, this cat photo was show, shared with myself and one other friend. Didn't particularly think that would uh, go well on my personal business profile, but this and this and this was all shared publicly with everyone. Um, the reason I'm seeing it and you're seeing it right now is because um, it is my profile, obviously, but I got nothing to hide. Anyways, let's take a look at the Picasa albums to protect your privacy. What you're going to want to do is head up to the right hand corner and hit on photo settings. This will bring you to this page about privacy and permission. You do not want people to order your prints or download your photos off there, especially if you're doing high resolution. Um, just don't allow them. I mean, that's up to you, but honestly, that's how I kind of feel about it. Next, let's talk about how easy it is to share photos on Google+. I'm just dragging and dropping from a folder on my desktop. Next, I'm selecting who I want to see it, which I'm going to leave this as public. And this is my wonderful assistant. Upload. There you go. It's pretty much it. Here she is. Ta-da! Now, let's talk about some RSS feeds and how we're going to get you into doing that. You're going to go to this unofficial Google Plus user feed site called Plus Feed. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your Google Plus user number. That's going to be at the end of your site's URL. You're going to copy it. And all you're going to do is simply go back up to the little address toolbar and paste it in. I have mine pre-copied, so here you go. And after that, all you really need to do is hit refresh. Now take a look at this. This is only going to show your public posts on your profile, and it's only going to take those public posts and post them to any place that you feel necessary. Um, we're actually going to use a service called Deliver It, um, DLVR. And I use that to publicly post to all of my um, business profiles. So here's what Deliver It looks like. And what you're going to do is you're going to add your source that you just copied from your feed in the other page. New, here you go. And then you're going to copy and paste that URL from the unofficial Google Plus uh, feed site. And you can choose your own personal preferences as when what you want to post. The most recent items is what I clicked. 
and uh, you're gonna save your source. Now, I'm not going to do that since I already have, so let me cancel this. And I'm gonna show you um, that you can add several different services, if, or you're called uh, destinations. So click on add, and from there, you have tons of choices. All you have to do is use your existing accounts and let Google Plus do all the heavy lifting of updating everything for you. Now let's take a look at my place page on Facebook to see what it actually looks like from Deliverit. So here's what these public posts on Google Plus are gonna look like and what people are going to see when they click on those particular links. Now, it's kind of encouraging them to use Google+, Plus, which I like, but it's also filtering other content into my place pages that I may not be keeping up with so much. Hopefully that explains it a little bit better to you guys. For the time being, just mess around with Google+. Plus. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can always grab me either on Google+, Plus or Facebook, or email me directly. I would love to hear from you guys. I'll be posting a couple more of these, so I'll see you all soon.